a completely evil problem. A chart label will not update. A friend of mine sent me this chart yesterday. Kelly says, there is a problem uh, that these chart labels are mostly right. But this one point right here, this point, no matter what I do, that says test one every single time. All right, so what do we have here? This is an XY chart. If we go look at these chart labels and go to control one to format them, it's value from cells. The range is coming from our C4 to C28. That's all correct. Click OK. And when we narrow it down, it's this cell right here. This cell is not working. If I just type help, see that it still says test one. Like somehow, this son of a bitch is broken and there's no way to fix it. Everything else is working fine. Like if I just use one of my uh, custom lists here and quickly fill this data, you see that everything is updating except for that one cell. It will not update. What is going on with this? I gotta tell you, this one drove me crazy. I tried a lot of things to fix it. Uh, went to friends of mine who should have known, ended up going to someone on the Excel team, one of the testers on the Excel team, and late last night he said, yeah, this is what's happened. That label's become disconnected from the grid itself. So we're gonna click on the labels, select all the labels, right click and format data labels. And we get this panel over here on the right-hand side. Let's take a, take, take a look at this panel. I use this panel all the time, value from cells or, and I swear I've never noticed that there's a button here called reset label text, but it's for this very problem where one of the labels is disconnected from the grid reset label text and now that goes back to the correct thing there we are thank god a solution to that problem uh, i guess one bigger question is how did it get broken and so there will be uh, two outtakes after this uh, one showing how to set up the value from cells and then the second one showing how to break it and then maybe even uh, the question is this a thing like is there ever a reason we would want to do that all right, so if you're just here to learn how to fix this, you're done. Uh, thanks for watching. But if you want to see how it happened, or at least how I think it happened, uh, go ahead and keep watching. Well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. I'm envisioning two outtakes here. The first question is, how do we get labels in the XY chart that aren't one of those numbers, right? So we're going to start off with an XY chart like this. And I want to add labels that are the adjacent name. So we're going to add data labels and then come out here to more options. And we want to uncheck Y value, but not yet. First, I'm going to say value from cells and select the range that has those labels. Click OK. And we should see, yep, the word and the uh, Y value. So we'll get rid of the Y value. All right, so that's the end of outtake one, how to have the labels come from another place. Okay, outtake two. How did we ever get to this point where that label was broken? So I have a chart. I'm going to click on the chart. And unfortunately, see, I can't see the data that the chart is coming from because the panes are frozen. So if this chart was annoying someone, they wanted this to actually say test one, for example. First click is going to select all of those labels, but then a second click second click selects that one label and now with that label selected i can use my cursor and actually select those cells and type something new test one enter whoops no test one control enter no test one and click away all right now i'm pretty sure that that is what got me to the state in the video where we have that label saying test one, no matter what I type here, it will not update. Whatever I type anywhere else will update. Yeah, see, those are all updating, but that one is evil. Okay, and then here, let's uh, put this one up somewhere in the middle and then sort this data so that way that broken one here will make it yellow so we can remember that's the evil one. If we then sort this data, data A to Z, so it moves down there. Ah, oh, right there, there it is. Uh, it, the brokenness moves with that point, you know? So 
Uh, it was actually a situation where we had 20 different charts for 20 different departments and the broken cell was in a different spot every single time. How crazy is that? Outtake three, is there any actual use for this? Like, is there a reason why we would need to change the label on one point? Uh, so let me come here to Lime. And currently this is coming from value from cell. So I select that Lime and I can type something new like MVP exclamation point. Alt enter and Lime. And then with that selected, move it up here. Okay, so we now have a label that will move with that point. If the point would change or move around, uh, we would potentially change. I'm not sure why this is built into Excel. If you're watching this, if you've watched this far and you have a reason why you need to change the label for just one point and you're not going to do it in the grid, you have some reason to overwrite this, let me know down in the YouTube comments below. If you like these videos, please down below like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Feel free to post any questions or comments down in the comments below. This Excel problem's one of a kind. Took a ride down to Redmond Town. Found a guy who knows his way around. round. Crash it right, click that label, son. Hit a reset text and you'll be done.